the moment that you want nothing is actually the same moment that everything is going to come to you. You see, there's actually a certain energy dynamic when it comes to wanting something or already having it, right? It's actually two totally separate frequencies. Imagine it like this. It's like a radio station, right? How could you ever receive or hear what is being broadcasted on 68.1 if all that you're ever tuning into is 98.2? Right, just an example. And in this video, I'm going to share with you how you can find the right frequency where what you want actually comes to you. Right, check it out. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to Meditation with Christopher. Now, you ever feel like you want something so bad and it just runs away from you, right? This is actually what's happening when you're chasing something. You're actually implying to the universe that it's not here. Or more so, you're implying that it's running away from you, all right? See, with the law of attraction, with attracting things into your experience, whatever the case may be, creating your reality, getting what you want, it's gonna come from the key base point of you finding alignment with who it is that you really are, more so who it is that you prefer to be. You know, I've been sharing a lot on my channel on how to create your perfect reality, how to create your dream or desired reality using the law of attraction, right? And it's gonna come from you lining up with the version of you that you prefer to be. The version of you that's already doing it, the version of you that's already killing the game, doing what they love for a living. Because this version of you has a certain vibration that is Right? Your vibration is your thoughts, your feelings, and your actions, and life reflects this back to you. Reflects back to you, your vibration. You're living in the world of your thoughts, or a reflection of your vibration. All right, and I've been sharing this so much on the channel lately because it's such a powerful thing. When you can find alignment with who it is that you really are, more so who you prefer to be, because a lot of times life causes us to become, life causes us to become or causes us to expand a certain way. A lot of times we just don't line up with this version of us due to self-limiting beliefs, due to whatever the case may be, right? And that's why I've been sharing it so much on this channel lately because when you find the frequency of who it is that you really are, everything naturally comes to you because it's a direct reflection of the energy that you are embodying, which is also a reflection of who it is that you are. Think of it like this, when you're a musician or an artist, whatever the case may be, right? They're just seeing the reflection of who it is that they really are, right? It's because it's who it is that they are that they're seeing that reflection, right? <clears throat> One day they just decided, they were like, yeah, this stuff is really aligned with who I am. This sets my soul on fire. You know, I'm passionate about this. And they, they just decided that it was who that they were going to be every single day, right? And that's exactly how Law of Attraction is helping us to create our experience because you're creating your experience in every single moment based off of the energy that you are being. Being, right? And if you're in a state of being, <laughs> your true core authentic self, where you're just following your passion, you're doing what you love for a living, you've, you've accepted where you are so that way you can get to where you want to be, right? Because you can't get to where you want to be unless you vibrationally bridge the gap from where you are to where you truly want to be, right? And that'll come with what I was sharing you, with you before, you know, lining up with the frequency, which is your thoughts, feelings, and actions that this version of you would have, <clears throat> right? I found the frequency where I already have everything that I want. It's already done. It's already done because I get to do what I love every single day. I get to do what I love for a living every single day and have fun, right? I don't have to do things that I don't want to do. And it's going to be the same for you when you find the frequency, the core frequency of who it is that you really are, right? And What'll happen is you just get to be yourself and have fun and all the right things come to you at the right time as a natural byproduct of you being who it is that you really are, of you being the version of you that you prefer to be, right? So ask yourself, how far am I in relationship to the best version of myself that I can envision, right? What are the thoughts, feelings, and actions that this version of me would have? What would I be doing every single day? What would I wake up and do? What would the first things that I would do in the morning, right? <clears throat> You have to vibrationally line up with this version of yourself and everything that you want comes to you naturally, all right? And 
you're gonna find a place where you don't feel like you want or need anything at all. Obviously you have desires, right? Because that's the whole point of life. Contrast and experiencing the evolution, the evolution of our desires. Right? We get to we get to see ourselves put plant the plant in the ground and we get to witness the the growing of our desire. Right? And that's the whole point of life. You get to bask into the experience and enjoy the experience, right? But realize and understand that when you find this core frequency of who it is that you really are and you're just being your true core authentic self, doing what you love every single day, regardless, then you will have found the core frequency of what you want as well because everything that you want comes as a result of this, okay? You will have a handle of life itself. You, you will have this down packed if you can get a handle of your own vibration, all right? Now, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you leave a thumbs up if you did. And like I was saying before, the moment that you want nothing, everything comes to you. Just accept where you are. Just find peace with where you are, right? And bask in the unfolding of your life experience. Namaste.